Alert, Warren issues nasty insult to Trump, it's outrageous. Anyone who has watched or listened to President Donald Trump knows that he likes to poke fun at the people who are outraged at his mere existence. One of the people in this group is Senator Elizabeth Warren, DMA. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert has become a haven for Democrats to gather and talk about how sad, angry, and hurt President Trump makes them feel. Senator Warren recently appeared on the show to tell everyone that President Trump is a racist, of course. According to Newsmax, Warren said that because President Trump called her Pocahontas he is racist. She failed to mention, however, that for it to be racist towards her, she would necessarily need to be Native American. President Trump has referred to Senator Warren as Pocahontas since he was fresh on the campaign trail. There is a story behind this behavior. He is mocking her insults toward him and poking fun at an elaborate lie regarding her heritage that she told during the 2012 Senate race. Senator Warren, who seemed to be tripping over herself to be offended, said, Donald Trump thinks if he's going to start every one of these tweets to me with some kind of racist slur here, that he's going to shut me up. It didn't work in the past, it's not going to work in the future. Give it up. The Massachusetts senator has opposed President Trump since day one. She has actively resisted and criticized him at every opportunity. The name Pocahontas refers to Senator Warren's claim back in 2012 that she was a Native American, or at best, has Native American blood. However, Republican Scott Brown exposed Warren and left her backpedaling over her own statements. Senator Warren said that she is both Cherokee and Delaware Indian but had no evidence to back up her heritage. This is important because, in order to be accepted by the Cherokee group, one needs some sort of documentation to prove the claim. Instead, Warren made bold claims that could be construed as racist by the wrong person. At one point, she claimed that she had to be an Indian because a distant relative of hers had high cheekbones. When she was unable to prove her heritage, she scrambled for the words to make her claim seem authentic. The best she could come up with was, being Native American has been a part of my story. I guess since the day I was born, I don't know any other way to describe it. There was an extensive investigation by multiple outlets into Senator Warren's lineage that sought to find even one connection to Native American heritage. One report suggested that she may be one thirty-second Native American, though that was quickly debunked. When it comes down to it, Senator Warren has no evidence that she is Native American. Journalists even talked to her family, who gave mixed stories that didn't quite add up. Before Senator Warren accuses President Trump of slinging racial slurs, maybe she should try and understand the context of the nickname Pocahontas. It is not meant to be racially inflammatory. Instead, he is poking fun at her for pretending to be something that she is not most likely for the chance to call herself a victim of oppression.